Now, sitting here on the 1st of May, the, the question that seems to be creeping into the markets a little bit right now is, is do we really have some planting delays? And, and I got to tell you on the surface right now, you know, my answer to that is no. And as we visit with producers right now, they're really not too concerned, but obviously move ahead to next week or the week after, that could potentially be an issue. So now when we look at a planting delay rally, the year that just sticks out is 2019. It was a complete disaster. Total prevent plant acres were almost 20 million acres. That was up from the previous record or all time high in 2011 at 10.2 million acres. So what happened here in 2019? Well, as you look at this corn chart here and here in December on the December corn contract, we put on a spike low on May 13th, and then we rallied more than a dollar a bushel before putting our high in in mid June. The similar thing occurred over on the soybean market. We put our low in on May 13th, rallied to mid-June, about a $1.30 rally. So we had the hype up of planting delays in here, but the rally really didn't kick in until we got to the middle part of the month. So now what can happen here this year? You know, what we're really thinking in here on this grain market is this week, we probably shouldn't be trading planting delays. Next week, it might get a little bit of traction. That'll be the first full week of May. All of a sudden, the week after that, we're mid-May, and if that is still an issue, this market could be primed to make a run. What you need to remember, though, is wait when we make our initial move, this thing would really surge. What kind of rally could we expect? Well, if you just look at 2019, we rallied about 30%. That would put Dees corn to six bucks. If you look at no November soybeans, we had a 16% rally. That would put new crop beans well over 13. Now, 2024, this is not 2019, but you've got to remember the past can give us a little bit of an idea of the volatility to expect as we move ahead. This is the other thing with corn specifically right now, is, is that we just read corn doesn't have much more than 10 or 20 cents downside potential over the next two or three weeks. Conversely, though, if we do have a spark, especially with the spec so heavily net short, we could move much more than what you would expect. Perception move these markets much more than reality. Will we get the big drawdown and prevent plant acreage? Doubtful, because the market should give us the price incentive to get out there and seed this crop. This market has been sideways here recently. You can argue quiet on corn and beans compared to the volatility in wheat but don't fall asleep on them. There could be some excitement coming up here over the next couple of weeks. Any questions or concerns with these markets, reach out to us. Have a great day.